All right, hello everybody. Uh, I figured um, I'd do an unboxing of the firebox that I just received. Um, it only took a couple days to get here via priority mail. Um, I know it came from Utah and it got delivered all the way to New Jersey uh, in only three days, so it's pretty quick. Um, looks like the packaging has been updated. Um, I know in previous unboxings it was using uh, a not really a box, more of like an envelope. So it looks like uh, Steve kind of upped the packaging, which is nice to see, so it doesn't get really damaged. Um, so we'll open it up here, and we'll see what we get. So, just bear with me real quick. All right. All right, so we'll see what's in here in terms of packaging. I don't murder the box. tape on this sucker. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so it looks like he really did a, a great job packaging this thing, uh, surrounded by foam, as you can see here. And, okay. Uh, I got a little worried at first because I know I ordered the heavier duty packaging and I saw that it came with the original sleeve here. So let's remove all this stuff and see what we got. So, uh, first things first, uh, I guess here we have the firebox. Now let me say that I ordered the firebox, the extended grill plate, and additional fire sticks. Uh, I didn't order one of the deluxe packages because I really didn't feel like I needed the boil plate or the fire starting kit. Uh, I also ordered the heavy duty, um, I don't know, I think they, whatever it is, the heavy duty packaging for it. So I ordered that separately as well. So let's take a look inside. Um, okay, so here's two of the uh, extra fire sticks that I ordered that come uh, separately. Uh, first impressions are pretty sturdy. Um, you can bend them a little bit. As you can see, I just bent it and it stays that way. So you can bend them, I guess, into different shapes if you put enough pressure onto it. Uh, we're gonna open up the little canvas bag that they give you here, um, which is actually kind of nice just to have around if you need it. Alright, uh, so we have the extended grill plate, which I'm pretty excited for because I do want to cook burgers and potentially maybe a mini steak on this. Um, and then it looks like on the other side we have the actual firebox. I have to say it is pretty heavy. I'm going to do some weight testing here for you guys so you can actually see how heavy it is. Um, the default directions it gives you, uh, tells you it weighs 2.2 pounds, so I'll put that to the test and see if it actually is 2.2 pounds. Uh, nice little visual directions, uh, I guess it could be useful, so I'll put that to the side. Uh, and then overall here is the firebox, and it really is uh, quite thin. Here's my finger um, to give you reference, not, you know, not everybody's finger is the same, but should do something for you. Uh, looks really nice and clean. So. I think I've seen enough unboxings and openings here. I'll take the two fire sticks it comes with out. Uh, and then I believe if I just start opening, the ash pan should pop off, uh, which it does. So it's great to see that. Um, and let's just give it a quick open. Wow, this is really, uh, really kind of nice how easy that is. And of course, we'll flip that part down and that's it, there's the firebox. Um, you have the windscreen. Uh, it's pretty pretty stiff right now, not too stiff though. But, um, I don't see really any problems with that yet. Um, now from my videos, I know that from the how-to video, wherever the wind damper is, um, that's where the widest side of the ash pan goes. So the widest side should just, I guess, slip right in under here somehow. And there it goes. And get that little thing, so that was really easy. Uh, let's take a look. This is the uh, the extended grill plate, and again, um, I'm not really sure which is the right side. I think eventually I'm going to mark this with a T for the top, but let's see if I can figure it out. Uh, I think, it, I guess it's this way, and you pry it open, and that's it, it locks in. So there's the extended grill plate. So we'll take a look. 
how big it is. If you looking, I guess if this is a fire stick, it's just a little bit longer um, than the fire stick that it gives you, just a tiny bit. So if you're thinking about getting it, um, I think you could use the fire stick as a, as a solid reference on really how long the extended fire uh, grill is, or plate, whatever it's called. Um, so overall pretty impressed uh, off initial impressions. It really is heavy. Uh, it is kind of big. Um, before I weigh it here, let me um, let me just see what kind of pots and pans can uh, can kind of go on here. So take this off. So I have the Stanley mug from Target that I just bought. It's, I did see a video with it. Um, obviously, you'd need something on here. So I think if you just take two of the fire sticks um, and put it in two of these holes. Like so, or I'm sure I'm not doing it right exactly, but um, overall, if you put it right there and put this on top, uh, it fits really easily. It's not going to really go anywhere side to side, even on these inner holes. So it looks like this works pretty well. And I am also going to demo it with this that I got from Amazon. If you can't read it, it's called the Black Granite Mess Kit. Uh, it was only $15, it comes with a, you know, a small little pot, uh, a little boil uh, pot, and a plate that also doubles as the cover for the pan. So let's take a look at that, let's open it up real quick. Okay, so, um, yeah, uh, it works. I think if something was actually in there, uh, it would hold up. It just about makes it over, so uh, I think it's it'll work okay. I think it's a little imbalanced right now just because the pan itself is imbalanced, but um, it's kind of hard to see, but it just about fits on there, but good enough for me. I'm kind of excited for that. However, I do not believe that my little boily plate here will work, and I know I don't know if I have the dimensions here. This is actually a five and a half inch uh, little boil plate. And really you can see it doesn't, this is not gonna work. Um, but I think what I could do is just take two of the fire sticks, uh, put them in like this, and this would provide some stability um, just like that. So again, thank, thank you Steve for the ingenuity to make it so you can put these fire sticks wherever you want and now I can have a very comfortable spot actually I can even extend these to the outer markings if I actually wanted to and and then my little pot sits on there nice and sturdy uh, actually very sturdy um, so really happy that my current gear setup um, works on this again this pot that you see here is actually 5.3 uh, inches in uh, diameter so um, so I think if you have anything like that, or even smaller, it's going to work. Really, the way that Steve set this up is any manipulation uh, of these fire sticks, since there's so many combinations from the top perspective, or from these side panels, or from these other side panels, you could really pretty much fit any pot or pan or, uh, or cookware that you have uh, in this. So I think that's really great. Um, so real quick to wrap this up, let's do a weight test. So let me take all this stuff off. We'll grab my digital scale. Um, I'm going to make it a pound versus ounce uh, thing. And we'll weigh everything kind of separately. So let me take out all the fire sticks here. And let's see here. All right, so we'll do it with the, obviously with the ash pan. Um, let's see. Okay, so let's see if I can bring the camera in. So based on my scale, uh, without the fire grate or anything on there, this is two pounds, 0 0.4 ounces. So uh, let's see. What does this say it is? This says it's 2.2 pounds, so it's actually a little lighter than what uh, what they're saying it is. 
Now granted again, this is not with any of the fire sticks. If we add, let's say two of the fire sticks, which is the default that it comes with, um, which I think is fair. If you added the two fire sticks, it is two pounds, 1.7 ounces. So that's probably where they're getting their two pounds, two ounces from. So I'd say that, um, you know, overall they're, they're pretty close to their mark. Um, now, if you did have all the other stuff that I had, let's say you have two extra fire sticks. So the box plus four fire sticks is two pounds, three ounces. And of course, if you add the magical fire grate, it's gonna add some poundage. It's two pounds, 8.1 ounces. Uh, and then ultimately, if you have the heavy duty carrying case, let's check this out real quick. So if we add the D-ring bag, um, actually the D-ring bag is pretty light. Uh, if you add that in, it actually goes to two pounds, 9.9 .9 ounces. So it's pretty much three pounds uh, from the set that I purchased. Um, so let's see how easily it gets into this bag because I haven't really showed how many, how many people have actually uh, put this in the bag. So let's take everything out real quick. Uh, take all the fire sticks out. Take the, take the S pan out. Again, I'm a little clumsy with it because I haven't really used it. Um, we'll push this up somehow. There it goes. And yeah, you don't even know how to, have to know how to fold it because it basically folds itself as soon as you push in. Um, now my understanding was the trick to this um, is, I guess this mark, you're supposed to line it up like right there and then it should snap in. Hopefully I read the directions right. Uh, let's see. Maybe I didn't read the directions right. Thought I did. Let's try again. Okay. Um, maybe I had the wrong mark. I don't know. I'll figure it out later, but it actually snapped in pretty easily. Uh, and then the fire sticks go back in. Okay. And let's take our magical bag here. I guess there's two pockets, so I'm not really sure what pocket, which is supposed to go in which, but whatever, we'll put it in this one. I'm assuming, assuming that's it. I guess you could take the fire grate and put the fire grate maybe in this bigger, or this other one? Nope. Okay, fire grate has to go in the big one as well. So I'll just put it right behind, which it seems like there's plenty of room for it. As you can see, Plenty of room. Um, and then the extra fire sticks, I could just, I guess, put them to the side, maybe. One on each side, or wherever. And yeah, closes up very, very thin. Again, here's my finger. So it's not even the width of my finger, this entire package. Um, this seems really nice. Seems pretty sturdy, double stitched. Uh, D-ring here and again if we're going to uh, measure the full weight all combined not like it should really change here we have two pounds 9.7 ounces so you know we're getting uh, close to it uh, close to three pounds but really it's uh, a little more than two and a half but you know, this isn't supposed to be for ultralight backpackers, um, I guess. But even if it is, I think this is just something that it's worth it. It's worth it in your pack. Um, but ultimately, I'm really happy with this purchase. Uh, came really quick, seems pretty solid. I'll be doing a burn test or two over the weekend, and I'll post how it goes. If you guys have any questions, I'm sure either I can answer or the Firebox team will answer. <laughs> anyway, thanks. Bye.